Hello guys, welcome back to our new video. So today, Talent Battle is back with yet another awesome opportunity. So this hiring opportunity is from Deloitte. So Deloitte is hiring analyst trainees. Okay, so we'll discuss all the eligibility criteria and what is the hiring process and what is the registration process? How can we register for this drive? So I'll answer all your queries in this video. So watch the video till end so that you are not left with any kind of other query and you clear all your doubts. So let's get into this video. So this link you will be getting in the description box easily. You can just click on this link and you will be landed to Talent Battle's official website. So as soon as you click on this link, you will be uh, checking here like Deloitte Consulting. So Deloitte is a very big brand which is hiring for analyst trainees. So this is a very latest drive launched by uh, Deloitte and this is a national level drive. And this is basically for full time role. Okay, so if you're interested for working in Deloitte and joining Deloitte as your, uh, uh, as your company, as your first company, so you can easily apply for this drive. Okay, so Deloitte is hiring for analyst trainees and we'll check out all the like streams which are eligible. Uh, so let's uh, start it. Okay, so this is basically for 2024 batch. So if you are a student whose graduation is going to end in 2024, you can easily apply for this drive. So let us check out what is basically analyst trainee and what work you will do. So as an analyst trainee, so this is the work which you are expected to deliver in Deloitte. So you are going to deliver on specific capability in technological consulting, understand business requirements and needs, support technical functional process document in document creation and maintain an effective library. So basically all the technical tasks uh, which are uh, you responsible for like maintaining technical uh, documentations and uh, helping with the mentors there at Deloitte. Okay, understand the business requirements and needs, build test and deliver solutions, support application design, be responsible for technical specific creations, be responsible for code development and unit testing, be responsible for test data creation, test scripts creations and execution support infrastructure, building activities, adhere to defined processes and tools while performing day-to-day -day operations. So basically, an analyst trainee is going to, first of all, they are going to, of course, they are going to train you. Okay, so they will be training you on specific processes out of these fields. Okay, so whichever work they will consider is fit for you and is matching your skill set, they are going to provide you and deploy you into that particular projects. So it is clearly mentioned like as soon as you're as a part of the project onboarding process, you are provided with the training and awareness aimed at building proficiency in this role. So of course, they are going to train you first of all, as soon as you are onboarded in this company, so they're going to train you. And as per your proficiency in technical and behavioral skills, so they are going to define you uh, on the basis of uh, proficiency levels as per the expectation framework. And then they will be giving you some tools and technologies which you can work on. Next, let us check what is the qualification required. So eligibility academics is like the year of graduation should be 2024. So it is straight away mentioned like you must be passing out in 2024. So it is not for uh, like the students who are still in their graduation in their second year. Okay, so this is uh, of course only and only for 2024 batch students. Aggregate should be 60% or equivalent or CGPA should be 6.5 and above. So in your 10th and 12th, you must have 60% and in your degree, you must have 6.5 CGPA on an average. Okay, so like the total must meet this quarter, like uh, eligibility criteria. Now let us check what is the eligibility degrees and branches. So should not have applied to any consulting profile at Deloitte US India offices in the last six months. So it is the condition. Like if you have earlier also applied for the same company, you cannot back again. Like uh, if in your six months, uh, like in your last six months, if you are uh, if you have applied for Deloitte, you cannot apply it back now. Okay, so let us check what are the eligibility degrees. So Bachelor of Technology or Engineering, B Tech or B, Computer Science, Allied Computer Science uh, branches, Information Technology, all circuit branches. Like if you are related to computer science branch or IT branch, you can easily apply for this particular drive. Next, coming to Masters of Technology Engineering, MTech or ME. It must it can be a five-year integrated course as well. Like if you have BTech and MTech merged as a five-year integrated course, you can apply for this particular drive and streams remain the same. And lastly, they are offering to Masters of Computer Applications, that is MCA. 
so these are the eligible uh, branches so if you are one of them you must apply for this particular drive so let us check what are the general expectations which you need to deliver so in the first point they have mentioned like you will be signed under a legal uh, agencies okay so it would be a government act like you would be uh, registering legally uh, with this company and the selected candidate will be joining on one year probation okay so the probation period would be one year uh, from the joining date excellent analytical and communication skills uh, in all written verbal and presentation skills is like they need it and ability to chart one's career and build networks within the organization ability to work both independently and as a part of team with all professionals at all levels ability to prioritize tasks and raise concerns questions wherever appropriate interact with the stakeholders on regular basis face to face interactions or video interactions or through emails teleconferences to understand the global client process and the business problems so these are the basic general expectations that every company have like uh, for their employees like whenever they are hiring the new candidates each candidate must uh, deliver all these expectations so you can easily read all the expectations let us jump to the recruiting process now so recruiting process contains five points like first is the registration process that will show you today how to register next is the shortlisting process third is the online assessment then online interview and lastly final result and uh, for your surprise i'm also going to tell you like how you can easily clear this assignment uh, sorry online assessment and what procedure you must follow so let's check now uh, uh, before any further delay let's get into registration process now okay so you can just scroll up and here you will find the apply button okay just click on this apply button as soon as you click on this apply button you will be landed to deloitte's official website so this is Deloitte's official website. So again, the same kind of thing is mentioned over here. Okay. But recruiting process here, it is mentioned in detail. Okay. So let's check like first is a registration process. So start your journey with Deloitte USI consulting by registering on the portal for NLA 3.0. So it's a national level drive. So this is the NLA 3.0 portal where we are going to register today. Next is the shortlisting. So we'll shortlist you on the basis of your skill sets and academic achievements uh, for the online assessment round. So if you are shortlisted, if your resume gets shortlisted, you will be called for an online assessment round. Moving ahead to the online assessment, if you are shortlisted, we will invite you to appear for an online assessment to show your aptitude and technical abilities. So here it is mentioned aptitude and technical ability. So uh, you must be strong with your aptitude skills and your technical skills for this help. So Talentbit is always there to help you out. So you can just register for our masterclass course where you will find each and every module for Deloitte and how to prepare. Even you will be uh, guided through the mock tests and the mock interviews as well. Our mentors will be taking your mock interviews before your actual interview to improve your confidence level. And you can also give mock tests to, to check like where, what are your capabilities, how easily you can crack the Deloitte test. Okay. Moving ahead to the online interview. So if you are cleared with the online assessment, you can just uh, like you can go for the online interview as a student. When you clear the online assessment, you will move to the interview round. Be best version of yourself and tell us why you want to join Deloitte. So you must have a strong point. So they have mentioned here like why you want to join Deloitte. So you must have a strong point in your mind to answer this particular question. And lastly, you will receive your final results based on your performance in the interview. Okay. So let's register for this particular drive right now. So again, uh, the skill set, uh, sorry, the eligibility uh, branches uh, have been mentioned here as well, which we have already taken through. So here is this button of register now. So let's clear on, uh, click on this register now. Yes. So we'll just check this like I am not a robot and click next. So let's fill this registration form. So here I'm going to write my first name. Okay. So quickly write the first name. If you have any middle name, you can just mention it over here. And the last name. Next, uh, the first name, if you have any preferred names, you can just fill. Otherwise, you can just leave. It's not uh, like compulsory. So we'll fill this full name over here. Next comes the email address. So just fill your email address here.
Yes. So as soon as you fill your email address, next it comes. Yes. So next it comes alternate email address. If you have any, you can fill. Next it comes mobile number. So just fill your mobile number. Next, if you have any alternate mobile number, you can fill it over here. Next is the date of birth. We are going to fill the date of birth. Just select of the year. Just select the year from here. Month selection and lastly the date. Gender, you can select your gender. Then is your address, okay? So just fill your address. If your city name is not coming here, so there there is a uh, like a list of cities, okay? So if you think like your city name is not coming here, it is uh, marking red. So you can just fill a nearby city or you can fill your district over here. Okay, so districts are all, all districts are here. If you think that is also not here, so either you can just fill a random city nearby you or you like because they will check it from your resume. Okay, so you don't need to worry. So I'll just fill my address uh, completely. And next is the education details. Okay, so here is the education details. So highest qualification you need to start with and then you have to go till 10th and uh, like 12th and 10th as well. Okay, so add more button. Please use the add more button to add all educations. Okay, so here you can just select your education type. So let us take it as undergraduate. Next, what is a degree? So let us take it as like BTEC. Okay, so you can just scroll down and you will find the option of BTEC. Next, it comes like which college? So just start filling your college name and there will be a list of colleges. So you can just check. So your college name will come here. Okay. Like let us suppose if your college name is not coming here. So you can just, uh, we'll just check with other. If other is there, other option is there. Okay. So no, yes. So there is a others option as well. So you can just fill others if your college name is not coming here. Okay. So similarly, you will just fill the college name. Next comes a branch. So you can just fill your branch over here. Okay. So branch you can select like computer science or IT. So you can just fill any any branch. Okay. Because both the streams are easily eligible. And you can find like it is there. Okay. Year of passing you can just fill like it's only for 2024 basically. So you can just fill 2024. Next is the percentage or CGPA. So you can just fill CGPA and you can just fill your CGPA over here. Okay. Next we'll click on add more button to add. Similarly, we'll add like 10th and 12th marks as well. Okay. So uh, we have just click on add more button. So, okay. So we need to fill this college name as well, I think. So let me just fill it. Yes, done. So next, next click on add more button. So here you can just add your class 10th. Okay. So here are both the options 12th. So start with 12th. Okay. So just fill it. So school board, you can just fill any your school board and similarly, you can fill for 10th as well. Okay. So let me fill the complete form and then we'll move ahead. Okay. So I'm pausing the video. So next they will ask you your educational details, others where, where you have to put your official roll numbers. Okay. So you have to fill your university roll number as well for if you are a postgraduate and you have to fill undergraduate as well. Okay. If you have no, if you don't, if you are not a postgraduate, you can just fill any. Okay. And for undergraduate, you can just fill your complete roll number. Next gap in education. So do you have any gap in education? So you can just select no gap. Okay. Uh, do you have any standing backlog? So no. Uh, have you appeared any assessment before? You can fill no. Uh, do you have any other offer letter in hand? So you can fill no. Are you Indian citizen? So you can fill yes. Uh, are you open to internships? So you can fill yes. Uh, this is a work experience. So do you have any prior work experience? Uh, please do not. So it's mentioned like do not include any internship. So you can just fill no. Okay. Next, do, not, uh, uh, do you have any former employee, uh, like any unknown? So you can just fill no. Professional certifications, do you have any professional certifications? So you can fill yes or otherwise no. Additional certifications, you can fill yes. Uh, if you have any, you can just fill that certification details. Okay. Like what were your certifications? Next is to add on your resume. You can just choose file and you can just fill your, uh, like add on your resume. Okay, so we can just fill it like this. Let me just show you. Yes, so it's uploaded. Next is profile photo. So you can just choose a file. 
ओके इधर यू कैन जस्ट क्लिक फ्रॉम योर कैमरा एज वेल एंड यू कैन जस्ट अपलोड योर प्रोफाइल पिक्चर एज वेल ओके नेक्स्ट कॉलेज आई डी कार्ड यू नीड टू फिल योर कॉलेज आई डी कार्ड एज वेल सो यू मस्ट है स्कैन कॉपी ऑफ योर आई डी कार्ड बिफोर अपलाइंग सो जस्ट स्कैन द कॉपी एंड जस्ट फिल योर आई डी कार्ड लाइक दिस ओके नेक्स्ट इज डेक्लेशन सो यू कैन जस्ट फिल आई एग्री एंड क्लिक ऑन आई एग्री एंड देन यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन सबमिट ओके सो हेयर आर सम डिटेल्स लाइक विच वी हैव लेफ्ट आउट सो इट वी वेन विल फिल इट सो यू विल फाइंड लाइक यू विल बी लैंड टू द नेक्स्ट पे जस्ट वेट so let's now uh, i have filled all the details i have filled the complete form okay so now we can easily cl uh, click on the submit button once again so as soon as we click on submit button so we need to verify your email id so verification code will be sent to your email id which you need to put it okay so just wait for few seconds uh, as soon as your verify code is put up so you can just fill that verification code okay so i have filled the verification code just click on verify so they will verify this code so yes so form is back again you can just check all your details so you can just confirm and submit if you want to edit some details you can just edit it okay editing is also allowed so yes we have filled so registration is successfully done so now you uh, now the for future updates they will be reach out to you on your email id so so this was major opportunity that was from deloitte and this is a national level drive which will be helping you out for all the branches which i have mentioned in this video okay so you can easily apply now and register to this drive and for the online assessment as i earlier mentioned if you have any queries and if you want to prepare for deloitte specifically or for any other company you can join our master class batch our mentors will be there to help you out okay and the deloitte link as well as the master class link both links i'll put in the description box you can just join through that link okay and if you have any other uh further queries you can just put down in the comment down below okay or you can reach out to us on our website or on our social media handles our team will be happy to help you out till then stay tuned and i will bring up a new opportunity very soon stay tuned and subscribe to our youtube channel for all the latest notifications thank you have a nice day